What is up my magic miscreants risen dragon here with a fun deck for you today and today We're going back to a deck that goes all the way back to when Innistrad came out there the that that second Innistrad Block or set, you know the shadows and then the midnight. Yeah. Well, yeah that set and we're going back to zombies. Yes, zombie typal is today's deck, and there are some fun tools that we have with this particular build that, quite frankly, I've been sleeping on a few of them because I'm like, eh, I don't know if this is going to work in the current meta, but we'll see what happens. So basically what we want to get accomplished is basically flood the battlefield with zombies and zombie types. And we do that through Roaming Throne, which, of course, with Ward 2, when it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. It is the creature type in addition to its other types. And if a triggered ability of another creature you control, the chosen type triggers. It triggers an additional time. <sighs> Fun stuff. Okay. Also, Necro Duality, because we can get a bunch of these Roaming Thrones on the deck. Whenever a non-token zombie enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of that creature. Okay. Fun stuff. So how does the rest of this deck work? Well, it's Champion of the Perished. Whenever another zombie enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Doesn't matter what type of zombie. A zombie. Okay, we're running Make Disappear just because we want to keep our opponents honest. Go for the throat. Again, keeping them honest. Jadar, Ghoul Caller of Nephalia. When at the beginning of your end step, if you control no creatures with Decayed, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with Decayed. Blood Stitched Scab. Other zombies you control get plus one, plus zero. Geralt, Visionary Stitcher. One thing we're going to look at uh, after the post-game analysis, we are going to look at a card from the upcoming Outlaws of Thunder Junction set that's really cool, that would really fit in this build, but zombies you control have flying so long as Geralt is on the battlefield with tap and a blue. Sacrifice another non-token creature. Create an X X blue zombie creature token where X is the sacrifice creature's toughness. So yeah, fun stuff. Arch Ghoul of Thraben. When it when another zombie you control dies, look at the top card of your library. If it's a zombie, you may reveal it, put it into your hand. If you don't put the hand, the card into your hand, you may put it into the graveyard. Headless Rider, whenever another cre uh, a Headless Rider or another non-token zombie you control dies, create a 2-2 black zombie creature token. And Invasion of Amonkhet, because when it enters the battlefield, each player mills three cards and each opponent draw discards a card and you draw a card. We defeat it and it becomes Lazotep Convert. When it enters the battlefield, uh, we it may enter as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard except it's a 4-4 black zombie in addition to its other type. So it triggers all these different things. Okay. Sideboard, some more make disappears, a go for the throat. A malicious eclipse because Boros aggro is a thing. Syncopate, shore up, just in case we're getting spot removal, whale of the forgotten, path of peril. Uh Lost in the Maze is an interesting one to have because again, you know, we we, we if we're against spot removal and we have tapped creatures, wandering emperor is still a thing, so we want to keep that there. So this is our zombie typal build. If you are new to my channel, please like, please subscribe. Um but we play a best of one and a best of three, so you can see how the deck functions in either one of those environments. So without further ado, let's get to the Zombie Nation 2024 games, kids. War against Vampiric Shaman for our best of one matchup. I don't know how I feel about this one, but I'll keep it because we do have some threats here. Although, let's give them something to talk about. Let's do Cavern of Souls. Let's start with... Um, well, they're playing an oversized deck, so I almost have to wonder if they're doing the Teamer uh, Reclamation build. Let's give them something to talk about, though. Let's go Zombie. Okay. Fun. Let's do Ghoul Caller. Let's see what... Um, I, I, did, I just want to see what they do. Yeah, had a feeling. I think the ghoul callers. No? Yeah, maybe. Could be in a ramp build here. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do this. Oh, we hit a necro duality. What did we hit of theirs? Ooh, interesting. That's fun. So is it like a, a ramp build? I don't know. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, cool. Alright. Oh, we can get a Vorning Klexor if we defeat that. Oh, okay. Basic land. So they're digging for stuff here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this could get fun. Except now we gotta do this. And let's go Gollum. And now we do this. You go there. Ah, uh, you go... Eh, come on. There you go. Right there. Okay. Decay. Boom. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, we do one in Klexor. Eh, no force. That's fine. Uh, decline. Yep. Okay. You better have some spot. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, what? And that's fine. Cause watch this. We just do this. Yeah, we do that. Yeah, ready, boom. Yeah, boop, 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 boop. Off we go. Boom. And we get him. All right. Let's go to the best of three. We're against Edos for our best of three matchup. That best of one went really, really well. They they started off slow. This one, you know, speaking of slow, we're not going with that. This one, yes, we will do this. Because zombies, they are a thing. So, uh, not sure what we're up against, but I don't like the, uh, what? Oh, is it a mill build? Because that would be fun if it were. Here we go. That'll gain something there. Sure. There we go. Okay, so they do that. That's fine. Interesting. Okay, so push pull I think is going to be a problem. That's okay. Uh, we'll do this. As much as I want to swing in. Or no, as much as I want to cast the Arch Ghoul, I do want to leave up the Make Disappear in case they decide to target my Champion of the Perished. I'm just gonna keep fishing. Hmm. Resurrector build? I mean, they've got a lot of those things happening, so. Yeah, let's just swing again. I mean, I, I don't really have an issue with this. There we go. And we've got uh we've got lethal on the board next turn, so Alright. Good stuff. What did they talk yeah, they they haven't Okay, there's that. Fun. Oh no, we don't have lethal. Yet. What are you trying to do here? Oh, yep, that's what they're trying to do. Reenact the crime, guess what? No. That's why we held on to that. Let's try this. You're dead. Exquisite, perfect damage. Perfect. Oh. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. I think what we do is this. We take out those. Let's put in Syncopate and make Disappear. Simply because I did not see any... Uh, 
really like a lot of creatures going on there. This might be a good matchup for us. Uh, this one's a little bit on the slow side. That one will keep. I'll take that. The scab will come into play. Alright, fun. So they're just playing that game. Okay. Do that. And they just discard and... Yeah, okay. I, I, I see the combination here. And they just surveil and... Yeah, we gotta be careful, but I think... Now, if we get to reenact the crime here, that would not be fun. But... Oh, Hemonket, I don't think is all either is a good one either, but... Yeah, we gotta be real careful on our next few, so... Modern age, draw card. Okay, so they're fishing. They wanna, they wanna fish. I'm guessing they want to. Although that's entertaining, I don't think that's the right play at this point. We need to make sure that we leave up the make disappear. Yep, yeah, that's exactly why. Alright, I can appreciate this. We're leaving ourselves open, but... I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else I really can can see doing here. We, we, we gotta get some threats down. They, they've got the... Uh, I'm guessing they've got an Atraxa or something that they can ditch right now with Reenact the Crime. and Maybe not. I don't know. Modern Age. Yeah, sure. I'm guessing they're, they're fishing for something. Yeah, I gotta find something. Okay. I don't know if they found anything, but... Fun. Let's do this. Okay. Is that, an that is an instant now, isn't it? Fun. Champion of the Perish. They might be dead, I don't know. And if they have spot removal, then... Let's see what happens. You get him! Alright! Okay! Uh... On to something? I, I wish... Nah, alright. That's fine, we rank into gold 3. Pretty cool. Let's go to the post-game analysis. Okay, so am I bummed that we didn't get to see this pop off? Yeah, a little bit, but also, too, even without the Necro Duality and the Roaming Throne, you know, shenanigans and antics, this card alone, with all the zombies we're running, this, I mean, it, it's just an old school, like, beginning of uh, Innistrad standard. Just a nice little throwback, I think. And, and, and quite honestly, I think something that has been incredibly overlooked. There's just quite a lot of synergy in this build, and I really, really, really am enjoying it. Alright, so if you like what you saw, if you can get this to pop off, if you can, you know, do that, awesome. I would love to hear the stories. In the meantime, after this, we're going to do a bit of a, uh, we're going to look at a card from the upcoming um, oh, Outlaws of Thunder Junction set that I think it will go really, really well in this deck. Have not really looked into the new set as far as you know spoilers are concerned. That's not really kind of my thing on this channel, but I mean, we've done it a few times. But to be honest, I just 
don't really have the time to look at cards and be like, all right, let's let's see what we can build. So, you know, I kind of look at what, what, what happens on any given day uh, with some of the other content creators. But anyways, let's take a look at a card from the next set, and we'll go from there. So this is the card that I was highlighting, Geralf, or Geralf, the flesh right whenever you cast a spell during your turn other than the first spell that turn create a 2-2 blue and black zombie rogue creature token whenever a zombie enters the battlefield under your control put a plus one plus one counter on it for each other zombie that entered the battlefield under your control this turn so if you put this with necro duality roaming throne and j j there's just a lot of fun stuff you can do with this card i really think that this card could it, it, it will make this zombie build sing and i'm really excited to uh possibly craft this and go from there i like i mentioned in the post game analysis i don't really i've i have not had a chance to really kind of dig deep and, and look into what kind of decks i want to build i do know that there is an outlaw typo build that's out there that i'm like I, I could probably see playing um it would just have to be something that i'd have to kind of look at and, and and go from there but i know that uh, i I've, I've been looking forward to the outlaws at thunder junction i love wild west themes and all those things but this is the card that i think could really make the zombie nation deck sing so if you like what you saw leave a like leave a subscribe and as always my magic miscreants may you always be on the play and may all your spells hit the board risen dragon is out enjoy the rest of your saturday